Okay, so um, so what what we'll do is in today's class we'll just clarify a little more about the uh, about the titles, about the topic. If there are any doubts, anything to be clarified, we'll just do that, and um, and and then we'll go ahead. Right? Okay. Yeah, Aaron, go ahead. Um, you wanted to share something. Yeah, Pastor. Uh, like I mentioned, I'll be taking the topic on a uh, true leader, mm -hmm. and I have mentioned I have uh, make some. Uh, Yeah. Hello. Yeah. 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 I can hear you now. Yeah. Go ahead. And uh, I have uh, made some, just work out with uh, some four points, and here are some. Uh, the first one is uh, my aim is to focus on true leader and their status, and I'll be focusing on uh, mainly on some uh, some villages in the part of Mukokchung, and mm -hmm. secondly, I'll be, uh, you know, uh. I'll be focusing on true leaders, a uh, true leader in a secular world within and outside Sorry, the world. It, 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 okay. within, yeah, within and outside the world. And thirdly, is uh, to focus on major challenge the true leader faced mm. uh, in secular world. And mm -hmm. lastly, I'll be um, focusing on uh, how to improve, uh, improving the status of a true leader. So, yeah. Improving, sorry, what of the true leader? Improving the... Uh, improve uh, the status the status of a true leader okay okay so improving um okay how to be a true leader and uh, is that uh, in the church like you originally mentioned or just generally as a leader wherever you are yeah uh, even in church and even in society you know yeah general it's a Generally, okay, fine. So that's uh, that's good. So your topic could be a, a, a comparative study of leadership, uh, you know, uh, leadership from the from the Bible, and the uh, you know you you just define those areas that you've mentioned. Um, maybe the Bible, the uh, I, I don't know in the world when you say uh, what exactly you know I I, I don't know, but uh, um, so you can define that. You know, clearly mentioned that a comparative study of leadership uh, or leader leadership lessons, right? Or leadership examples. I think that would be good. A comparative study of leader examples from, and you mentioned those three areas from, from the Word of God or from the Bible, from um, you know from the church, uh, and then from uh, you know uh, the other third area that you mentioned. So you could mention that and. Um, and then, of course, your conclusion, right? Your study of this, and then your conclusion. So, um, so that's fine. You go ahead. I hope you will get the right information, and uh, you know. Um, so, yeah, you can do that. So, don't don't restrict yourself to just one person. You know, that is too much to. Um, like, uh, of course, in the Bible, you can you can look at the life of Jesus, look at a few other leaders, uh, maybe two more. And then in the in the village that you mentioned, um, uh, there also let, let it not be just one person, you know, let it be at least two or three. Um, and then of course um, leadership in the world, uh, outstanding leaders. Uh, again, there also, you know, so you could have at least like nine to ten of these examples, and then you you compare, you study, and you and you can put together. Okay, these are some traits. These are some skills. These are some special qualities, and and also, and that conclusion about how you want to, uh, how we, you know, as uh, individuals can incorporate uh, this, these qualities in our own life. So that's fine, right? You can do that. Okay. So um, yeah. Okay. Fine. But uh, just send me that that draft, that one page draft. You know uh, that that needs to outline this. You know this change in topic and everything. So you, you just mentioned that, and Kiran, you also do the same thing. Please. Okay. Um, so Dave, um, your I got your email, and uh, and also Sid's uh, email. So so the, Dave, you said uh, I'm just opening it about uh, Christianity in Nepal, right? Um, Okay. 
Okay, so you, you're going to look at how it's, who came there first and where did they start um, and how it is happening now and also um, how it can go forward, right? Um, so, so that I think uh, that's very important, right? Um, going forward with the changing times, uh, with the change in, you know, culture and everything, and also with the change in the political situation there. Uh, I think you've mentioned about persecution and all that. So with the change in all that, um, you know, how going forward, what are some things that you can suggest? What are some things that, you know, that would be, that would be good, right, Dave? Mm. Yeah, so you can you, I can just change your topic, you know, instead of saying Christianity in Nepal, you can change it to um, the origin of Christianity in Nepal and the way forward or something, you know, on those lines, which talks about the past and also um, about uh, the future. Right. Um, so you can talk about the methods of evangelism, you can talk about uh, worship and you can uh, like when the church came together, what are those? Uh, I mean, these are some ideas where you can, uh, you know, you can also talk about uh, what are those local traditions, you know, uh, uh, and in the sense, in the local language, the local traditions, which were part of church culture, right? Um, and uh, and how, that, how does that help bridge that gap? Right? How do they make it relevant for the people of Nepal? Nepal? So some of those things, and um, and also the availability of the Word of God. You know, who that is also a very important thing. You know, how was it translated? Who translated it? You know, that's an important um, point of discussion as well. You know, because uh, obviously somebody uh, translated the Word of God into the local language, or maybe there are you know so the local script. So how was that done? Uh, how how did people accept it and and so on? So that also would be a, a very uh, important point that you can share, right? Okay. So yeah. I think uh, yeah. So I think you have you know you have enough information, sufficient information. But the main thing is that you know what will actually bring out your originality and uh, uh, you know the, your original uh, work that you do, research work, would be now. Comparing all this and knowing that this is the past, knowing that this is the present, you know, what is the way forward, right? What what would you recommend, like based on the word of God, based on your own experience and uh, in ministry, you know, what would you recommend? Now, that's, uh, that would be the, you know, the original work, yeah, your original thoughts. Mm. Yeah, yeah, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Fine, I think we discussed this. Uh, so I think you are clear. Um, um, and also uh, about the topic of pornography and uh, how it, uh, but then you need to kind of, um, you know, you need you need to um, bring into focus the topic and put it in words, right? So that uh, it, is, uh, it is clear. Um, scope of the research is clear. Um, like, like we talked about, talked yesterday about uh, the gender, you know, uh, like uh, who is it that is getting addicted? Is it a particular age group? Is it a particular gender? Is it, you know, those kind of things. And uh, and like you also said, um, you know, what does the word of God talk about it? How do people get in? How do people get out? Um, you know, what does the word of God talk about that? What is the word of God? How does the word of God empower people to break free from this addiction? What is unusual about this addiction? Right, uh, and those kind of things um, you can mention, and you can also talk about um, ministries that are uh, there, you know, helping people overcome this addiction. And uh, um, yeah, those are some things. And also the fact that uh, you know, the, when it comes to pornography, and um, it's it's like there's a lot of deep rooted shame and and a stigma, so that people don't openly come out and say. Hey, I'm, I'm struggling in this area, especially in a country like uh, India. So, so you can even talk about that. You know, what is it that is keeping people imprisoned? Right, the fact that um, they don't want to talk about it, they don't want to get help. You know, that those are some areas to uh, talk about as well. Right, Sid. 
Okay. Um, okay, so today uh, what I thought was that we will, um, you know, we will just take some time uh, to, uh, to, to just, uh, you know, uh, improve our skill of expressing in writing. Okay, so expressing in writing uh, our skill. So some basic things. Okay, uh, what I'd like to what I'd like you to write is uh, um, right now, right away. You know, just take two minutes to write about um, what is your expectation of uh, what do you want to see done, right, uh, in your own life. What is it? What is your expectation? I just want you to write three things. Right and write in full sentences. Right, uh, this is what I would like to see. This is what I would like to achieve, or this is what uh, I would like to be done in my own life, or you know, by the end of this year, so 2022. Okay, so by the end of 2022, this is what I would like to become, or this is what I'd like to see happen in my life, uh, or this is what I would like to accomplish. I would like to do. Right, you got it. So uh, those kinds of things. So uh, so you could, you know, it could be these three things as well, or it could be just one of these areas. But I just want you to write three points about your own life and uh, what you would like to be, or what you would like to become, what you would like to see done, what you would like to do or accomplish. Right, what you would like to be, what you would like. Uh, you know, to see a car, see done in your own life, and what you would like to do, um, in in this year, twenty twenty two. Okay, so yeah, so uh, what we'll do is now it's nine sixteen, right? So we we're gonna take about maybe just five minutes, less than five minutes. Okay, so I just want you to write down, um, uh, and then you know, and then put it on the chat. Okay. Write down or put it on the chat. Or if you don't, if you're not able to put it on the chat for some reason, you write down. And I'm just going to ask you to read it out. Okay. Um, so if it's something very, very personal, you don't have to read it out. Right. Okay. You're saying I want to get married by this end of the year, or and you don't want to, you know, read that out. That's fine. But um, but I just want you to, you know, uh, be honest and also at the same time, you know, just put it down. Let's let's see how we are expressing this these things in writing, right? Okay, so let's take maybe five minutes, less than five minutes, let's do that. Okay. Um, so I will come back at the end of maybe three minutes, I will just come back, remind you, and uh, and then we will continue, okay? Okay, let's, let's take this time to do this.
Okay, I think that's about uh, five minutes. Um, yeah, would anyone like to share? You can either copy paste, put it on the chat so that I can, you know, I can just read it. Um, or you could uh, read it yourself and both are fine. Okay, it's fine with me. Okay, who would like to go first? Okay, anyone? Okay. Okay, I'm reading uh, what Davis uh, shared. I would like to move into full-time ministry after my graduation. The other thing in my mind is to start a media team for the church. Okay, so this is what they would like to see by the end of 2022. Okay, so so Dave, uh, like we said. Uh, um, so you, you can just specify when you would like to see this happen. Right? Like we were saying, okay, 2022, this year or by the end of this year. Okay, so that's the missing information in what you've mentioned, right? That you would like to move into full-time ministry after your graduation. Um, yeah, so which is, I guess, in May. And uh, the other thing is to start uh, on your mind is to start a media team for the um, for the church. Um, so, so these are two things, right? So, so the only missing information is I would like to see this happen by the end of this year. You can mention that year 2022, um, because specifically, specifically, we were saying, right? Uh, what is it like that you want to see this year, right? by by the end of 2022? So you could mention that as well. You know, so so we're just trying to see, okay, how can we how we how can we be uh, you know uh, clear in expressing our thoughts, uh, and uh, how can we the the one who's reading it will know. Uh, I will have a clear picture of what you're trying to communicate, right? So, so that's the thing. Okay, next. Good. Anyone else? Okay, so uh, I have to decide by this year whether to be in ministry or start my own business. Um, I would like to see myself being independent and start living and be responsible and get married. Okay, right. So, um, so said the same same thing by. Uh, so you mentioned the year. You mentioned the time frame. Um, so uh, whether to be in ministry, I think you you mentioned that, and uh, you also, um, yeah. So uh, about getting married, you can you could also say, okay, I'd like to meet the right person, find out the right person, uh, and then you know prepare for marriage, get married. Right, you can you can mention all that in your uh, uh, in in stating what you're stating, right? Okay. Um, okay. So the second point, what you mentioned is that um, okay, you, what you said is I would like to see myself being independent and start living and be responsible. Okay. So obviously, what you what you want to say here is that. Um, that you want to uh, start living independently or start staying independently. No, is is that what you what you want to say? You can just clarify that. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I think staying. Yeah, like move to your own place. Uh, yeah, your yeah, own accommodation. Yeah. Group. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so you can mention that, right? Because when you read, uh, start. I mean, when you read point two, um, it doesn't really, uh, you know, convey that. Uh, being independent and start living and be responsible. So, so the question is, okay, um, so what? You know, when you say when you say start living, what does it what does it mean? Start being independent, what does it mean? Right. So, um, so since uh, I just know little about you, then I you know I just assume that this is what you actually mean, right? That you would like to maybe stay in a an independent place, uh, different from where you are staying, being. Um, you know, self-sufficient and taking care of all that, you know, all the responsibilities that would come with it. So, yeah, so you you need to, you know, change that uh, and say, okay, I would like to move to my own 
place or move, move get uh, you know move to my own accommodation or a place of living and uh, and uh, be independent in that sense right okay okay good so kanan uh, now i'm not in the ministry at all just attending church i would like to go minister okay go to ministry or minister after my classes okay so uh, so kanan you can also mention that okay um, at present okay uh, i am so you can use those words uh, just a thought um, just some ideas so you can say at present i am not uh doing any kind of ministry when you say i am not in the ministry um so i'm not doing any kind of ministry so i'm just being part of the worship or i'm just attending the church where i am and i would like to go to ministry now that phrase go to ministry you know it's uh, uh you know both grammatically and also in terms of conveying the meaning it's it's kind of, right so it's not uh, it doesn't uh, convey the full meaning so so you can mention like and and also you're saying after my classes so when you say after my classes um you got in mind like the bible college and stuff so when you say after my classes everybody understands that okay but then if you are writing something like this to a, a varied audience right so you need to kind of explain okay what is it you're talking about uh, the course that you're doing and after you finish your course or you have to you finish your training then you'd like to be even more fully involved in ministry okay so so that is the thing that you need to mention and also mention okay like we've been by the end of this year by the end of you know 2022 this is what i would like to do okay um okay so prince i want to start the children's ministry in my local area this is want to what i want to achieve uh, in the ministry uh, um this is uh, i want to achieve okay more than 50 children uh in the ministry also i want to start sunday school okay so so the way to start this um, you know to start writing this and to uh, read sentences think about the question right what is the question or what is the uh, what is the assignment right so and then say uh, if the question is what would you like to do then you can start by saying i would like to right you can i mean that's uh, that's a a uh, better way of expressing it right uh, by the end of this year 2022 i would like to so that's the full sentence right that's uh, i would like to uh, start a uh, start ministering to children in my area so um, children's ministry uh, uh, you can say that also or you can say you know uh, so you think about it okay how can i best convey this I, i want to start ministering to children in 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 the city in the village where i am right so you can mention that and i want to reach out to more than 50 children this year uh, also additionally i would like to start a sunday school okay so you can if you want you can just mention what is it that like you would like to do okay in the sunday school is it in the church uh, that you are attending or is it something independent you could mention that also right so thomas uh, says i would like to come up with so same thing thomas like um, you think about what the question is and um, and then say by the you know i by the end of this year or this year i would or uh, by april of this year i think you've mentioned that by the end of this april uh, you, so you can you can start i start with that right um and say i would like to come up with short videos on youtube and the social media so you can you can also write about what the nature of the videos okay these would uh, what would the nature of this video be what would, would it be inspiring would it be like a devotional um would it be you know so, uh, so you can write about that as well okay um kiran uh, i would like to see myself taking a decision or uh, moving uh, for working full time ministry work or reaching many people or leaders or pastors with god's uh, working kingdom work okay so so uh, kiran 
so you said uh, uh, like one, two, three things, right? Um, so three things. So you, so it, what is it? What what you said is um, you know or doing this. I and I assume that you're saying that uh, I would like to do this or that or the other thing. So which means that. At this point today, you are not still clear whether it's, uh, you know, uh, area one or area two or area three okay, that you would like to do. So, so you can, you can just mention that I'm, you know, you can say that I would, I, I, I'm still a little bit unclear about what I need to do this year, but I would really desire, or I would like to, uh, you know, I would like to take a decision about and then you write okay, moving full time uh, towards ministry work. Uh, when you say or reaching many people, are you saying that uh, those are two different things? Or did you want to write and? Kiran, did you and reach many people? Yes, sir. I want and uh, I request a clear type. Yeah. So so that is the thing, you know, because if you write, if you put or. That means I, I'd like to do this or the other or the other, you know, like, like three different options, right? Uh, but here, uh, since you want to say, and, you know, I'd like to do this. So, which means that, uh, um, okay, so I'd like to do one, two, and three, right? So I'd like to do this and reach many people and pastors or leaders with God's kingdom work, okay? Right. So those are things to think about. Okay. And even also, uh, I mean, sorry. And also, uh, once you write this line to to read it, you know, does it make sense to me? Will it make sense to the person to whom I'm writing? Right. Many times we don't think about that. We just we just send it, right? Assuming that the person will understand, right? So, um, but then, you know, uh, since it's it's in a language that we do not. Uh, you know, we don't normally use, or we, we may use it, but even if we use that language, uh, it's good to think, okay, is it conveying the meaning that I intend to convey? Okay, This is what I want to convey, but is it really conveying that? Will the person understand it? So just think a little bit, and then you can change. Okay, you can refine, um, you know, if I say this in a different way, would it convey it better? Right? So that there is no question in the person's mind who's reading it. Um, there's a lot more clarity. Right? So maybe I can use this word instead of this word. Okay. So that means that, uh, um, which is why I said, no, like at the beginning of the course, that uh, it'll be a great um, practice if every day that you write down, right, write down what you uh, what you have read. Or what you understand, you know, what we call as journaling, what you've understood about, um, you know, uh, from the scriptures, what you've read. Maybe you've read one passage today, and uh, what is what did the Lord speak to you? What did you understand? What were you challenged by? Uh, what were you convicted by? What were you motivated to do? You know, all that. You know, it's in your mind. You know, you went through a lot of emotions, maybe. If you read through that scripture, maybe uh, God spoke to you, you were convicted and you just, you know, whatever your experience is right, in that half an hour, 45 minutes, one hour that you spent reading, you know, so write, put it down, write it down in, in simple sentences. You know, today I experienced the peace of God. As I read this verse, mentioned the verse, you know, as I saw, as I read this verse, for some strange reason, I experienced the peace of God. Um, and what, what did it go through? You know, what went through your mind? You know, I had all these questions. I had all this uh, confusion. But when I read this verse, when I read this, I felt that the Spirit of God was you know, speaking to me, and I experienced this, and, and um, now I'm strengthened, whatever, right? Or, you know, I didn't read this, I read this passage and I did not understand it fully, right? Or I did not understand it at all. What does this passage mean? Why is this person saying this? You know, whatever, you know, your, whatever your uh, thoughts are going through in your mind, you try and put it down. You know, I, I don't know what, uh, I don't understand.
understand this and uh, um, or maybe you know i i don't think i agree with it right now because i don't understand it you know what does it really mean you know uh, put it down so that will that will really help you you know one is of course it will help you um, express your thoughts clearly right but uh, also spiritually right it is it is uh, you as you read it maybe the next day you read it you, know, you spiritually also you know you are uh, there you are actually you know focusing you are actually you know um, kind of meditating on what you are reflecting on what you um, experienced or what you went through or what, what went through you as you read the word of god you know as you engaged with god and and you can actually make it a prayer and you can you know make it uh, you know if it's something that is uh, you know you can even make it a a praise point you know uh, take it to the lord and, and and praise god with it god i thank you i understood this I, and you can you you know praise god with it worship the lord with it or you can take it as a you know uh, as an uh, as a something that you need to pray to him you know seek him and pray and ask him about lord i do not yet know and i'm so i'm asking you you know give me revelation give me understanding right so so this will help in both ways okay right okay erin uh, saying developing myself to be a skillful leader one day and working on the daily routine to achieve to be a good leader okay so so erin you can also be a little more specific okay and also uh, you know write it as a complete sentence right I, i know i said points but then to write it in a you know complete sentence so right from the beginning to end it's it's like it it has that completion right it has a uh, it, it has a complete picture right so so you can say uh, this this year 2022 i i would like to um, develop myself um, and i would like to train myself uh, to be a skilled leader or a skilled leader so that i can i can um, use it use these skills one day okay that is what you're saying you know this year i want to develop so that i can you know use it one day second thing is i want to work on the daily routine okay so you can talk about okay maybe maybe daily disciplines um daily um you know daily things that you need to do maybe something to learn something to put to practice etc so you can you know working on the daily uh, routine you just explain that daily routine what is it maybe it's something to do with reading maybe it's something to do with uh, writing maybe it's something to re- you know leading i mean reading a leadership book maybe right so um so you can you know write that express that communicate that so that it can be clear so make it like a you know full and complete um exercise right um oh, sorry not exercise like that exercise you know result in writing something that is complete and full you know a sentence uh, a thought that is complete right from start to finish right Okay so those are some things that I wanted to share um that you need to get into that habit okay if you have not done uh, that already get into that habit um because your because your project report when you're writing you're not going to be co- copy pasting right if it's copy pasting you don't get marks you know if you some article that you're just lifting off uh you know and uh, putting it uh, it's it's not going to so you have to write on your own right you have to be able to express on your own what you found what you did uh etc right so that would come only with practice and that is why i'm saying you know make it a daily thing okay make this writing a daily thing and that would it would come with practice you would see how every day you know the way you express the way you think um it it will change in a week's time you will see the difference right and also use other tools uh, like grammarly uh, which will help you write it in a in a better way okay the other thing that i thought was you know you could always use google translate to check fine tune some of the thoughts that you want to write down in english okay so let's say um, i'm sure you've used google translate how many of you have used uh, 
Google Translate. Okay, let's say um, okay. Let me just share that tab. Uh, anybody who's uh, you know, how many of you use Google Translate? Uh, can I just see your hands, please? Okay, Sid has used. Anyone else? Um, okay, uh, Conan has used. Dave has used. Okay, Prince has used. So most of you, you've used, right? So, so you can use Google Translate to to really find out uh, to to Chris, you know, cl clarify your thoughts. Okay, uh, for example, um, let me just share the tab. Okay. Okay, so here it is. Okay, uh, I'm using Google Translate. And uh, so let's say, what language shall we put here? Um, okay, let's say Hindi. Okay, so um, so I'm going to just type in here, Tera, Prem, okay, so I've, I've written it in the, actually I've just typed it out um, because I don't know how to type it in Hindi, but I've just written. So you see these arrows here. So I just click that. Okay. So this gives options, you know, Tera Prem Na Badalta. It says, don't change your love. So, uh, you know, which it actually means, uh, you know, it, it come, kind of gives you a literal, uh, you know, literal meaning, but you you get to understand what it means, right? So, uh, so this is one way of arriving at the meaning. Okay, so you can use it to arrive at the meaning, but obviously you can't use this, uh, you know, this sentence if you if you you know uh, if you want to. Uh, write about the fact that okay, your love never changes, right? So, um, so, so, but this is one, you know, very useful tool, and also uh, to to find out, you know, you want to translate something, you want to, um, in in any language, you know, let's try some other language, um, any anything in uh, Nepali. Sometimes it's showing mistake. Yes, you're right, Kiran. Uh, the translation is uh, not accurate. Um, but you get to know the gist of it, right? Uh, yes, you're right. It's uh, okay. Let's try something from Bengali. Okay, Kiran, tell us something. Some, um, okay, Bengali to English. Sir, so Prince I mean? can bring. Sorry, what? Um, so Prince nicely he can speak. Okay, no, no, no. You tell me your language. Okay, is it Hindi or? Uh... It's Hindi, sir. Hindi, right? Okay, okay, okay. So then you tell me in Hindi. Okay, Any, anything that you want to do. Let's say you just tell me one line in Hindi. Um, let's try it out. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Just tell me one line in Hindi. Let me let me type it here. Okay. Aaj ka subject acha hai. Aaj ka subject. Okay. Now subject. Um, see, it's, it's come acha. Okay. So you got it. Today's subject is good. Um. So I mean, it's 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 very simple, and it's got you know you got it. But sometimes you know the word subject it may not actually translate it. Uh, it might translate it to something else. And also it depends on what kind of spelling you put. You know, so it's it's suggesting this. You know, subject uh, S A B J K T right, and Acha also is it's suggesting this spelling. Okay, so it depends on the way you spell it out also, but. Um, yeah, so if you type it in your own language, 
you know then uh, in your own script rather i think the translation will be fairly accurate but anyway um so these are some things that you can use to get your you know thoughts crystallized to uh, especially if it's uh, english is not your you know first language or your second language but you can do that right okay fine um okay i think we'll stop here right and um, and continue next class and uh, next class we look at some more tools to help us um, write in a, in a, in a, and express ourselves in a in a clear manner but in the meantime let's just start your work um you know the topics that you've uh, decided on and uh, that what we have discussed just start your work research work how you're going to do about uh, how you're going to go about it start collecting information start uh, meeting people if it means that start reading up okay on it um, and start getting into the word uh, what does the bible talk about it you know for some of you the you need to find out the biblical base right uh, uh, of it biblical reference so start reading start exploring and start doing that okay um, so yeah okay so we'll stop here we'll we'll catch up next week on the same topic same subject okay god bless see you guys bye bye thank you sir right bye bye